Did Cyclone Marcia cause a Sharknado? Vic Lito's brother snapped this picture at Lennox's head and it's gone viral. Comes home and said, oh, look, this is washed up, you know. And away it went. And then anyway, that's all I put up on, on Facebook. Good morning from Lennox head and bang, it's just gone viral. I can't believe it. But was it really Sharknado? It could be, well have been, that the storm has had something to do with it. Whether it got pounded by uh, the waves as well. It's one of those mysteries, mate. Was this directly washed up by itself, right? Um, or was it, you know, left stranded by a fisherman? Did it have an ensuing fight and then the line snapped and then maybe in the swell and the ocean, how it is at the moment, the shark was in a weak, weakened state and got washed up on the beach. So anyway, it's quite amazing how it's been turned into, you know, it got sucked up in a tornado and thrown on the beach. And then there's the people, I'm never going in the water. They're now coming on land to get us and destroy the shark species in total, uh, protect the shark species in total. It's really uh, an amazing story on the side story to it. Tropical cyclone Marsha was ferocious at its peak. <laughs> In Yapoon and Rockhampton, homes were destroyed, sheds blown onto roofs, and cars were crushed. But this man was out surfing when the Category 5 cyclone hit. It's just messy, eh? it's no form to it, it's just like soup, a washing machine. Why would you go out there in these conditions? I just love it, eh? I live for it. In Rockhampton, Nine News reporter Joel Dry had to take shelter during a live cross. I just take shelter here, as I said. On Saturday, he was tweeting of a 300-metre queue for fuel. Marsha was downgraded to a low-pressure system early Saturday morning, still heading slowly south at 20 kilometres per hour. And it's generating uh, a band of very heavy rain uh, to the south of it. And that uh, rain has now moved into the Sunshine Coast and into Brisbane, uh, and it'll move into the, the Gold Coast area in another... Uh, a uh, couple of hours, and then into northern New South Wales uh, uh, probably this afternoon. Associated with that, we would expect to see uh, about 100 millimetres of rain or so. Uh, locally, we'll get some, uh, some heavier falls than that. And that, unfortunately, is on top of the rain that we had out of the system yesterday. And in parts of the Sunshine Coast, that was uh, uh, 200 uh, or more millimetres. But what we are seeing now are some uh, severe thunderstorms developing in this band of rain and associated with the uh, severe thunderstorms are uh, possibly uh, destructive wind gusts. So we have had a report of a water spout coming ashore in the Sunshine Coast area and that's had the result of knocking over some trees. If they're generating uh, water spouts then water spouts when they come on shore are, uh, are weak tornadoes it shows that these storms are uh, severe they're, and uh, they're not to be messed with. The Bureau warns of heavy rain across the southeast coast on Saturday, causing extreme high tides, dangerous surf and erosion. While the surf at Snapper Rocks looks brilliant, coast beaches remain closed. Once the low moves across, however, uh, and moves through, there's very little in the way of weather uh, following it. That'll be clearing the Sunshine Coast... Uh, 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 probably late morning uh, and uh, Brisbane somewhere around about lunchtime thereabouts uh, or early afternoon uh, and the Gold Coast uh, later this afternoon and probably northern New South Wales tonight.